Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training Channel documentary on how social media affects your mental health. Let us see the social media question. Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to put down your phone and disconnect from social media? In the digital age, social media addiction is a growing concern, with an increasing prevalence particularly among the youth. These platforms are designed to captivate us, keeping our eyes glued to the screen for hours on end. The impact? Well, it's not just about wasted time. It's affecting our mental health, our relationships, our productivity. Let's delve into why social media is so addictive, especially for the younger generation. The science behind addiction. To understand addiction, we must first understand the brain and its reward system. Our brain is an intricate organ, managing all our thoughts, movements and sensations. At the heart of it all is a complex network of neurons, communicating via neurotransmitters, chemical messengers that carry signals between them. One such neurotransmitter is dopamine, often referred to as the feel-good chemical. In simple terms, when we do something that feels good, like eating our favorite food or spending time with loved ones, our brain releases dopamine. This release creates a pleasant sensation, a reward, which encourages us to repeat the behavior. This is known as the brain's reward system. It's a natural evolutionary tool to promote survival. Now let's consider how social media comes into play. Social media platforms are designed to be highly engaging. Each like, share, or comment can trigger a release of dopamine, mimicking the same reward system. These digital rewards can stimulate our brain just like real-life experiences, leading us to seek more of these digital dopamine hits. Over time, these repeated dopamine hits can lead to habitual use. This is because the brain starts associating social media use with pleasure and reward. The more we use it, the more our brain craves that dopamine rush, creating a cycle that's hard to break. In essence, the brain gets rewired to seek out these digital rewards, leading to what we know as addiction. But the catch is, our brain also has a mechanism for maintaining balance. When it notices an excess of dopamine, it tries to bring things back to equilibrium by producing less dopamine or reducing the number of receptors that receive these signals. So we end up needing more and more of the same stimuli, in this case social media interaction, to feel the same level of pleasure. This is how tolerance builds up, another hallmark of addiction. So the constant stream of likes and shares truly feeds into our brain's desire for rewards. This is the science behind why social media can be so addictive. It's not just about the content or the connection, it's about the way our brains respond to these digital rewards. Case study, Jessica's story, Meet Jessica, a 17-year-old high school student who found herself spending hours every day on social media. Jessica was your typical teenager, full of life and dreams about the future. However, her life took a different turn when she got her first smartphone. Like many of her peers, she was drawn to the world of social media. It started as a fun way to connect with friends and share moments of her life. But before she realized it, social media had become an integral part of her daily routine. Jessica spent countless hours scrolling through her feeds, often trading sleep for more screen time. She was constantly chasing the thrill of likes, comments, and shares, a validation that made her feel seen and appreciated. However, the more time she spent on social media, the more she felt a sense of emptiness and isolation. It was a paradox that left her confused and overwhelmed. Her grades started to slip. She was less interested in real-life interactions, and her relationships started to suffer. Jessica was spiraling into a world of social media addiction, and she didn't even realize it. But then came the turning point. One day, Jessica looked in the mirror and barely recognized the girl staring back at her. She was tired, withdrawn, and unhappy. She knew something had to change. With the support of her family, Jessica started to take steps to break free from her social media addiction. She limited her screen time, started engaging in offline activities that she once loved, and sought professional help to understand and overcome her addiction. It was a challenging journey, but Jessica was determined to reclaim her life. In time, Jessica regained control over her social media use. She learned to balance her online presence with her real-life experiences. She rediscovered the joy of face-to-face -face connections, of living in the moment, of not being constantly tethered to her phone. Jessica's story is not unique, it's a reality for many young people around the world. Her journey serves as a stark reminder of the power of social media and its potential to consume our lives if we let it. But it also offers hope, 
showing us that it's possible to overcome social media addiction and lead a balanced and fulfilling life. The Impact of Social Media Addiction But what happens when a simple habit becomes an uncontrollable addiction? It's like a tap that won't stop dripping, a background noise that never quiets. It's a constant pull, a continuous allure. This is what social media addiction feels like. It's a silent but potent force that can consume your life, bit by bit, until you're left wondering where all your time and energy have gone. Let's take a look at productivity. When social media becomes an addiction, it's like a thief in the night, stealing away precious hours that could be spent on more meaningful activities. It's a clandestine operation with the theft happening in small increments, a minute here, five minutes there, until before you know it, hours have slipped away. This decrease in productivity can affect various aspects of life, from academic performance to job efficiency. Then, there's the impact on our social skills. Real-world interactions get replaced with virtual ones, conversations become texts, emotions are reduced to emojis. And while social media does connect us with people around the globe, it can also create a sense of isolation. It's the paradox of our digital age, we're more connected, yet more alone than ever before. And let's not forget the toll it takes on our mental health. The constant exposure to others' highlight reels can spur feelings of inadequacy, leading to anxiety and depression. The fear of missing out, or FOMO, can also create a constant state of unease and dissatisfaction. It's like being on a never-ending treadmill, always chasing after something that remains just out of reach. Social media addiction also alters our reward system, making us crave the instant gratification of likes and shares, leaving us in a continuous loop of wanting more, needing more. The line between use and addiction is often blurred when it comes to social media. It's a line we must tread carefully, understanding the potential consequences if we let this digital beast run wild. Case Study – The Recovery Process Let's take a look at how some individuals have managed to break free from the grips of social media addiction. Get ready to dive into the journey of a person who has successfully navigated the challenging waves of recovery. This is not just a story of overcoming addiction, but a testament to the power of determination and the importance of having a strong support system. The process started with acknowledgement. Acknowledging that social media was no longer just a tool for connection, but a chain that was keeping them from fully experiencing life. It was a tough pill to swallow, but it was the first necessary step towards recovery. Next came the period of detoxification. The screens were put away, the apps were deleted. It was time to reconnect with the world beyond the digital landscape. The initial days were tough, filled with bouts of anxiety and restlessness. But as the days turned into weeks, the fog started to lift. Then the rebuilding phase began. It was time to relearn how to spend time, how to connect with people, and how to be alone. It was a process of rediscovering hobbies that had been forgotten, relationships that had been neglected, and most importantly, rediscovering the self. The journey was far from easy. There were relapses, moments of doubt, and countless challenges. But, with each step forward, the grip of social media addiction loosened a bit more. Recovery is a journey, but with the right support and determination, it is possible. Conclusion. The power is in your hands. As we come to the end of this exploration, it's important to remember that the power to control social media use is in your hands. We've journeyed through the science behind addiction, delved into the personal stories of those affected, and examined the impacts of this modern-day phenomenon. It's evident that social media addiction can be a serious issue, but also it's one that can be managed. Practical steps such as setting time limits for app usage, scheduling regular digital detoxes, and engaging in offline activities can significantly help. If you find yourself struggling, don't hesitate to seek professional help. There are numerous resources and professionals equipped to aid in the recovery process. In this digital age, social media is a tool, and like any tool, it's about how we use it. The aim isn't to demonize it, but to promote its healthy use. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating social media, but about finding a healthy balance. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.